let's take a look back at a dramatic match here at the Emirates between uh, Arsenal and Aston Villa in the Barclays Women's Super League. Arsenal starting strongly, Kevin Ford is a real threat on the left-hand side. And Daphne van Dumsela gets something on the cross-come shot and it's clear to safety. And there's Pacheco in the end, really good ball in from that left flank. And eventually hit to safety as the ball was spinning towards goal and indeed an Arsenal player, but it was Villa that took the lead. A wicked corner from the left-hand side and a terrific header from Luis Pacheco. Obviously Stanford with the assist and Conor Lord celebrating on the sidelines. Brilliant ball from Stanford and a terrific header. That made it 1-0 Aston Villa in the ascendancy in the first half. They didn't have too many uh, opportunities throughout the 90 here but that is one that they may pay. Arsenal continue to create opportunities in the first half. Valti with a header that came to her quickly. I don't have seen it until it was right on top of her. She tried to guide it towards goal and it was a, a metre or so wide of the post. Maybe just the presence of Daphne van Dumsela enough to put her off. Arsenal came on strong in the second half as we always knew that they were going to and they created plenty of chances for with a wonderful first touch. And then the second onto the post but it does look like Daphne van Dumsela just got her fingertips to this. And she did, it's a wonderful save. And it came back towards Russo. And then Tom Salah was brave. Arsenal continued to come forward and we're continuing to make chances. Good ones as well. McCabe with the cross from the left hand side. And then it came back towards McCabe once but twice. And on both occasions she couldn't find the back of the net. There were so many Aston Villa players in and around their own six yard box here. And it came. And then McCabe, who got the initial cross in, had two bites of the cherry, but Villa was standing firm, doing really well. However, Arsenal were not to be denied. McCabe, who switched to the left hand side in the second half, receiving the ball, tight angle. But how about this for a shot? That's unstoppable. Brilliant technique, real power and precision. Got on top of the ball, good running. Look at the movement here, McCabe on the left hand side. She knows that he still might come to her even now and she's still tracking. Perfectly timed ball and run. And the ferocious effort that Daphne van Domsel has had a really good game for Aston Villa. Wasn't able to keep out. So this was on as a second half substitute just moments later. It looked like that she was going to put Arsenal in front, but the winner's denied by the Woodward for the second time. Always just spinning away. Bethany would have claimed the assist, but she did claim the assist for the winner just moments later. Villa with a low block. Mead does well here and here to set up Alessio Russo. And Russo finds the net. And Domsela may be a little unsighted. She got a little bit on it, but not enough to keep it out. It was well placed in truth here from Arsenal's summer signing. Cleverly done. And that for 2 1 after Mead came on late on for her first appearance in just under a year back after that crucial injury and Arsenal were going in search of more as uh, Villa was a bit tired Stinney's effort was clear off the line and Mead just unable to get to the loose ball ahead of the Villa back line from the 90 look like there's 28 attempts from Arsenal only the four on target eight corners just look at the numbers on the left hand side here 65% Villa so close for that smash and grab with their five shots two on target but in the end it was Arsenal that came good very very late on